Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on my Extraordinary Quest channel. My name is Belinda and today I'm demonstrating six different abdominal exercises that can produce some terrific results. They have for me anyway. These are the exercises I did all throughout 2020 <laughs> and now we're a few months into 2021 and I still continue to do them. I've added the amount of reps that I do to them, but other than that, they're pretty much the same exercises. And I'm gonna actually attach a couple pictures that I took after doing nine months of these exercises. So let's get started. I'm laying here on the bench, using this rivet just to place my hands, putting my thumbs underneath my hips, Basically what I'm doing is I'm rotating my hip up a little bit to a flat position and I'm just protecting my lower back. Legs out straight and I'm just gonna do leg lift. I'm gonna let my legs go lower than the bench and then lift them until I don't feel the resistance anymore. So I wanna keep them in resistance the whole time. In other words, where I can feel the pressure of my leg wanting to come down. I'm going to demonstrate 15 of them, but at the current time I do 25. Throughout 2020 though, I think I only did 15. I worked my way up to 25. Very controlled. I don't really take a rest, I just keep going back and forth. start with the 30. This is another exercise. Each time you do it, go up a little bit more in weight. But you want to make certain that you're really standing in the proper form here. I actually put my left foot over here by the stand or right on the other side of the stand of this machine just to kind of hold my balance so I don't, I'm not moving around. So I'm going to get my body positioned like this so I can just bend at the waist and go over my body, but I'm gonna put my hand over my head, <laughs> hold my hair back, and I'm gonna do 15 of these. And my dog's gonna join me. This is the third time I've filmed this. I keep cutting my head out. So I hopefully I got it right this time. This is the right side, I'm going to move to the left, but I'm going to give my dog a boost. He's getting really old and he can't jump on the couch anymore, so he waits for me. <laughs> and I, I like his little escalator. Okay, so same thing on this side. Knees are slightly bent. I've got my foot up against the base of this, the leg coming down from the bench. I'm going to wrap my arm around. Just give my, my side a really good stretch this way. And then let the weight, pull the weight, let the weight pull you. And then you pull the weight. Let the weight pull you back, and then you pull the weight. And you do 15 of these.
on the bench, flat. My knees are wrapping around the bottom of the bench. My hand, my arms are straight in, and I'm just bringing my hands together. And I'm going to do a small, like little sit up. This is working my upper abs. I'm going to demonstrate 15, but you can go from 15 to 25. You might even need to start out with 10. Those. What I'm doing with this one, I'm grabbing onto the whole bench, but I'm gonna once again create a little bit of an area where I put my hips. And I'm using my thumbs just to kind of hold me in place. I'm gonna stretch out, then in. And that's the whole exercise. It's a little bit of a balancing act. Okay, so I'm using my hands to create a little bit of a base for my buttocks. I pull my legs in and then stretch out. Whoops. I'm gonna do 15 of these. I'm gonna get a little bit creative with this machine <laughs> because I love the way the crunch a crunch machine can really affect the way your abs look. So I'm gonna create my own here. I have it at a 50 and a 30. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the bench, but I'm not doing it on the bench because it's too wobbly. I'm gonna sit back on my heels and put your buttocks right there on your heels. And you're gonna crunch over a lot easier to do it when you have weight on there. Okay, I'm gonna hold the hand grip like this, parallel to the bench so I don't pull this machine over on me. I have done that. I'm gonna bring this in, I'm back on my feet, and I'm gonna crunch over using that weight to pull down. I'm bending at the abs, I'm using my abs to pull me down. I can demonstrate 15 of these. So 15 to 25 is what I've been doing. This next one, I learned this one from a bodybuilder who's just getting ready to, to do a show and he, his abs just were outstanding. So I walked up to him and asked him what he was doing, how he was able to get his abs to be so defined. And he was actually a guy in his 50s. I'm always more fascinated, well, because of my age, I'm more fascinated with people over 50 and, you know, and what they can do to make their bodies look good. I'm gonna grab the grip like this with my thumbs. And it's kind of an isometric exercise. So I'm gonna lean back a little bit and tighten up my abs and just hold them there for 15 seconds. Really contract them. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. <laughs> I'm gonna 
putting my right foot forward. My left one is going to loop kind of back behind it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lean back into it and contract my obliques over here. Contract them, kind of bend over just a little bit of contract them and keep them like that for 15 seconds. If you want, you can close your eyes and visualize them like I do. Visualize them the way you want them to look. Okay, same thing here. Left foot forward, the right one is curling behind. It's, and the right one's not really doing anything, it's just kind of sitting, it's kind of just being there. I'm gonna contract my obliques, keep it isometric. Knee is slightly bent. You're kind of bending it over. 15 seconds. Okay, so now we're all done. I would suggest really taking one exercise at a time and working it into your already committed day of doing an exercise. So you're doing shoulders and you would do like that first ab workout. And then the next day back and biceps and maybe you would do the side oblique. And the third day, you know, shoulders again with the legs and then you would just integrate another one of these in. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to doing more workouts with you. Goodbye. I want to do a disclaimer here. <laughs> I have not been trained at all in teaching people how to work out. I'm not a trainer. I'm not certified in any way, shape, or form with any of this.